All right. So the next um, section is about cron jobs. Um, as you may guess from the name, it's uh, pretty similar to the Linux cron uh, daemon. If you haven't heard of the cron daemon so far, I uh, propose you perform this exercise, which basically is uh, moving away the stone you have been living under, because cron, uh, the cron daemon is ubiquitous in the Unix um, and Linux uh, world. It is uh, a daemon that helps you schedule executing a certain command repeatedly, frequently. You can specify uh, a schedule on when to uh, execute the command with a rather sophisticated but also a bit cryptic uh, syntax. Um, I have, uh, we have added the, the syntax to the tutorial and also provided you with additional uh, resources to where to dig deeper. Um, now, I'm not a, an expert on grunt, on grunt hubs either, so I sometimes when I, when I write them, again, I'm not an, a day-to-day -day engineer anymore, but um, which, which is, a, is a good point so that I'm closer to your experience sometimes because I'm lacking of the, um, of the detailed knowledge about <laughs> how this uh, Crontab syntax works. So when I prepared the tutorial, I, I made also one or two mistakes. Um, it's, not, it's not hard to get. So in, in the, the diagram here shows that the first um, the star here is the minute, the second is the hour, day of the month, month, day of the week. You can also do uh, arithmetic with it. So for example, you can say, well, every hour or every minute or every second hour and so on. So there's uh, additional links as always. Um, in particular, this tool gave me a bit hard of time, uh, a bit of hard time. So you need to uh, to check whether it really works. Maybe I I made a mistake, but I'm not really sure whether it um, it worked as expected. So let's give it a try. So what does this buddy do? It should hello world at one o'clock every day. Nope, this is not what it does. I feed it this one, yeah, and it says at o o one zero, and actually, what I want is one o'clock. Yeah, it's, that makes sense. Um, it's not midnight, it's one minute past midnight. It's not one o'clock. So the tool is right, I was wrong. Um, why one minute past midnight? Well, you don't want to execute all the jobs at the same time, so having a bit uh, a jitter around when you execute a particular job, that, that may help. Especially if more people create more um, run jobs you don't want to use the uh, full hour unless you need it because it is very likely that you'll add more jobs because it's such a nice number to have the full hour I personally when back in the days when I did cron jobs um, for a living I tried to um, distribute uh, the execution of maintenance scripts for example um, so that we don't have too many jobs running at the same time, especially if you're running jobs that have a, a certain, uh, well, let's say, ex duration to complete. You also need to be aware that you don't want to schedule overlapping executions so that you don't create a job that runs on top of a job that runs on top of a job that runs on top of a job. Uh, so there are there are several gotchas in there, but assuming that uh, let's say your script only runs a few seconds for example or even a few minutes um, Or let's say the duration in contrast to the um, The frequency is so small that you don't have to care. Well, then it's an easy thing 
Alrighty, right. So um, in this case, we want to create a grunt job that does something repeatedly. Um, it is a simple concept. It basically uh, will schedule a job um, in the specified frequency. So um, it is basically a, the grunt job is a concept that runs on top of the job that runs con pods for you. Uh, so I guess it's pretty simple to grasp the concept. Uh, you want to have a job run repeatedly. This you specify a ground job. Um, I personally believe that a system should be designed in a way that you don't need ground jobs if if they can be avoided. For example, um, running a ground job that will tidy up some resource. My question is always, why not design the service? in a way that it doesn't produce garbage in the first place or that it tidies up garbage on its own. But sometimes it's just easy. Um, you could, for example, have a system that creates a lot of um, um, entries that won't be needed after a while. So you want to just clean up your database um, and wipe off the uh, records, the records that you don't need anymore. So that could be done in a, in a ground shop. For example, so Kubernetes cron jobs um, pretty simple. They use the syntax from uh, the cron daemon. Um, so let's create a cron job. So as you can see, it's mm. on the batch. Well, I'm sh I'm sure that uh, we don't need uh, the beta anymore. So. Kubernetes Grun Drops oh, Official documentation still says beta, well then So the kind is Grun Job, um, which is a different uh, uh, controller in the background um, Obviously this, this controller will watch the cron job entry and cr uh, schedule jobs and create jobs and subsequently pods for you. So the cron tab here is a cron tab that runs every second minute. So we take this little fellow, add it to the cron tab grow and uh, cut and paste failure. And it says every second minute, which is what we want. So here you can see this is the minutes uh, here's the hour, here's the day, here's the month, here's uh, day of month, day of week. And by um, stepping values, you could uh, basically say every second minute. So as you can see, um, if you click on this here in this editor, you could also say, well, what? how would you do that? So how would you do every second hour? Every minute past every second hour. So yeah, this tool is rather nice. If if um, if you don't want to spend your brain execution time on deciphering Grunthub entries, it's not that complicated. But you need a bit of experience, and you also need memory. And in order to get that done, you need to do it a repeated repeatedly over a certain amount of time, so you remember it. I've done it obviously not enough to never forget it. All right, cron jobs. Uh, we've created a cron job uh, specification. It's, uh, it's oh, we have uh, a cut and paste error here. So let's code this file then. No, look, looks all right. So I, I, for quick, for quick uh, edits of files, I really love to use VI. But uh, Visual Sh Visual Studio Code Studio Code is also uh, a nice editor. There are also very other uh, other nice editors. Um, so this one is for free and it works like charm. So we'll let's check the indentation. Uh, it's on the level of the schedule, the job template, which is a template for the creating jobs. And there's a template for creating pods. Uh, yeah. And then in the pod specification, we describe the containers. 
So straightforward, the job template is basically the description of a job that we've seen earlier. And all that really is added is the schedule. So there's not too much to say about this. Um, so let's try it out. Total apply cron job. So we want to get the cron job. This looks good. We describe the cron job. The pot template. It's not stopped, it's not suspended. You gotta get jobs. No resources. So let's watch this. So obviously a uh, schedule is um, Execute, uh, executes the job every two minutes, so we have to wait um, up to two minutes. Yeah, and in a screen, se a screen recording session, two minutes is a very long time. But here we go. Um, as you can see, there's a job created from um, the cron shop um, as you can imagine there's also pods created uh, the pot is completed pot is completed you can also see that the last schedule was 21 seconds ago and that the age of the cron shop is 96 seconds so this is uh, handy if you doubt whether the uh, job execution uh, has occurred so you can see that it has been scheduled uh. so here status is complete uh, so a completed job is also in the events so you can also keep track of this in the description of the ground job so again we can delete the body here and we'll also see that the corresponding jobs and the corresponding pods have been deleted. What else? So that's about uh, cron jobs. Um, we are good in time. We still have um, a fair amount of time left. Do you have questions about jobs and grunt jobs so far? No, no questions. No. All right. Yeah, it's simple stuff, right? It's just a pod that runs one time it's a pod that runs repeatedly according to a schedule, straightforward.